Hi everybody, welcome back. Glad you could make it again this morning. I want to share with you a couple of thoughts that occurred to me uh, in connection with the book of Exodus, Exodus 27 and 28, where you've got instructions for the construction and furnishing of the tabernacle, and then some other instructions for the garments for the high priest. And the thing you notice, of course, is that there's a similarity between them, a marked similarity between them. So, for example, the tabernacle is to be uh, decorated, furnished with gold and uh, scarlet and blue and purple yarn and fine twined linen and then you look at the instructions for making the high priest's clothes and they're exactly the same thing and you think well why would that be it's like the high priest is supposed to be a kind of walking tabernacle and of course then you realize yeah exactly that's precisely what the high priest is supposed to be the high priest in Israel when he's walking around uh, dressed in those fine garments is supposed to be a walking reminder of the presence of God in the tabernacle. We don't know whether he wore those garments all the time or whether he's only really wearing them on, so to speak, special occasions during his ministry. But either way, uh, the principle that's enshrined in the text of Exodus is that you can't look at the priest without being reminded of the place where the presence of God dwells. And of course, then you start to see the significance of that for us, don't you? That we are all priests before God. The old covenant people of Israel were, of course, a priestly people. But we have the privilege under the new covenant of drawing near to the most holy place, Hebrews 4.16. The privilege that once was reserved only for the priests is now ours. And so you might therefore think that some of the same priorities and principles which originally applied to the priest, the high priest, would be relevant for us. It's as though people should not be able to look at us without being reminded of the place where the presence of God dwells. It's got some implications, I'm sure, for how we live our lives, how we relate to other people, how we speak to them, and the things we speak about to them. Maybe that will encourage you or spur you on today. But I'll be praying for you and hope you have a good day and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.